So what has life been like for Kim Mathers, both during the relationship with Eminem and now after her relationship is over with Eminem? And they obviously still have to uh, they still have to remain somewhat civil to each other and because they have uh, they have children. But and let me ask you that question first off, uh, Kim. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. How, how are you doing? Hey. I'm doing good. How are you guys? Good. Are good. You? The spotlight is back on you after yeah. a while of little, you know, a little quiet for a while. Now it's back on you. Are- I know. I know. You know what's so weird about that Dr. Keith Ablo show? Mm-hmm. That was my attorney called me and said that they wanted to do like a pre-interview thing. Come out here, you know, ask a few questions, tape it, and then if if I liked the way it felt, if I wanted to do it, I could fly out to New York and finish, you know, and tape it. Uh, interview. Uh-oh. I never, wow. even, I never <laughs> even met Dr. Keith Ablo. I didn't like the way that it was going. Like, the girl that was doing it, like, kept stopping me and, like, leading me to say, you know, different answers. And so I, I never even went out to New York to finish the interview. I don't even know so how they're airing it. When they do a pre-interview like that, did they have a camera on you? Yeah, yeah. So the stuff that you see today isn't actually supposed to show up on their TV show? No, I never even met Dr. Keith Ablo. He never asked me not one question. It was some... You know, just a road girl they send out to do pre-interviews. Right. But, but you, do, you did do the interviews with 2020, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I did do that one. Mm-hmm. Okay. How long ago were both of those tapes? Um, December. Okay. All right. Not that long ago. No. Let's let's talk first off in in uh, in uh, this is Doctor Mojo Ablo. Uh, <laughs> let, 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 let's Mojo talk. Defulo. Let, what what is your relationship like right now with Marshall? Um, I only talk to him for the kids. I can't stand him. Mm-hmm. Really, it's it's. He's, it's, he's an absolutely horrible person. He gets worse every day. Does he intentionally be mean to you, or he's just... He's a, yeah, he's, he's mean to me. Um, his relationship with the kids has went downhill. I don't know, mm-hmm. honestly, since, since he's left the house in February, I don't know what he's doing or what, but he's just... His visits are few and far, you know, between, and when he does come around, it's nothing positive. Well, we know he's supposed to be working on the new album. Do you think he's just throwing himself back into his work, or you don't know? I, I don't know, and I don't care. I just know that his personal relationship with the kids and, you know, trying to keep it social with me is leaves a lot to be desired. How often does he see the kids? Um, maybe once a week if I if I force them to go over there. Wow. And do, if you force them to go over there, so the kids don't want to go? No, no. I have to physically say, you know what, you're going. And I, I'm sorry, but you have to go. There's, you don't have a choice. What is it that they say that's not fun about going to visit Dad anymore? He is always yelling or complaining about something he doesn't do anything with them when they come there he's either in the other room or downstairs or sleeping now i've heard don't enjoy going there i've heard things on on the recording end side i haven't heard anything on the family side but do you feel unfortunately that he might be slipping into an old lifestyle that might be a little dangerous for him I'm, he never stops his old lifestyle mm-hmm. oh really wow oh really so he's back to pre-rehab uh, Let me habits? Tell you, over the when i'm gone video <laughs> Really? Me and Haley were supposed to be in there, and let's just say I found some things on the video set that probably shouldn't have been there, and that's why we weren't in the actual video. Hmm. Was he was he even clean when he was at rehab? I don't think so. So one of the things that's changed because you've always defended him as a father, saying that you know he might have some downfalls, but he's been a great father. You think that that's out the window at this point? He has. He's not been. I can't get him to do anything. It's been extremely hard. He, he, if the girls stay the night over there during the week, if I can get him there, one, I have to physically go there in the morning. He leaves the front door unlocked so that I can go in and get him ready for school and drive him. Wow, where, wow. where is he when you're going in there in the morning? Huh? Where is sleeping, he? Sleeping. So he just pa- pass out? Was he staying up all night partying or what is he I doing? I have no idea what he does. I don't care. I don't ask. But I know that he, he is slacking very much when it comes to the kids. All right. Kim Mather's on with us right now. Let me play some of the, the 2020 and, and Dr. Keith's clips and then we'll have you comment on these because a lot of our listeners had an opportunity to see him and and you can tell us more about your relationship then. This is from 2020. I had went with my sister and some friends and had asked him before we went to the show if he was going to perform that song, and he said no. He said no because I know that you're going to be there and I wouldn't do that to you. And I was there in the middle section on the main floor, and sure enough, he decided to do that song and not only perform the song but use blow-up dolls as, uh, to reenact like me being uh, choked and... and just disrespectful things to the blow of doll and then threw the doll into the crowd. Like for him to do that in front of thousands upon thousands of people, knowing that I'm out there and just watching everybody else sing the words and laughing and jumping around and like approval of just, I couldn't take it. I don't know. That's a complete spite. I mean, especially knowing that you're going to be sitting, you know, in the front row right there. And I immediately left after that, you know, I got into a car accident on the way home. I was so upset. And, uh, I made it home and 
And I went upstairs in my bathroom and I slipped my wrist and ended up in the hospital. Kim, it, Kim, it led to that, huh? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Well, what was his reaction when he found out about that? He came to the hospital after the show and he said, I hope you don't expect me to cancel my next show. <gasps> and left. That was it? That was it. You, you attempted suicide and he said, don't get in the way of my work, I gotta go? Yeah, over 300 stitches. I was laying there. They weren't going to let release me for three days. So, you know, we, somebody had to stay home with my kids. And that's, that's the only thing he said. Don't expect me to cancel my next show. Kim, when you were at that show and they were doing that with the uh, with the blow-up doll, were you sitting in the crowd or were you in a in a uh, suite? You know, we were in the crowd. We were in the crowd. And did me people, and uh, some did of pe- our friends. People know that that was you? Uh, people immediately started pointing and laughing. Wait, like, what's the yeah. song again? I don't even remember which song it was, honestly. Because there were so many. There's plenty there There's about Kim. Many. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's so funny, he sent me a text yesterday, because he, I guess, he must have heard that was going on here, and he was like, I don't believe that you're going to go on air and talk about me. It's very embarrassing to our family, and, you know, you family. must have no respect for the kids. And I'm like, hello, have you listened to any of the songs that you've said? You know, I mean, just, I don't know. Yeah, if you rap it, it's okay. you got right. you got, you got to get a beat behind you. Well, you know what I always wonder, because I, 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 we never got to hear from you, so we always assumed that... that or I assumed anyway that that you thought like, oh, he's a jackass and he's writing these horrible songs about me. But I understand that he's just doing it in the song and <clears throat> he doesn't really mean it. But um, were you, I mean, he was talking about killing you in these songs. Were you ever in your marriage afraid for your life? No, I was, no, I was never afraid for my life. We have gotten physical, but I don't think. Uh, no, I don't. I was never afraid for my life. <laughs> Do you, I mean, you know, I, I know we don't have Marshall's side of the story because, you know, Marshall's not here with us right now to talk about it. But what do you think Marshall would say was the worst thing about living with you? Um, probably that I was controlling and always wanted to know what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you were worried that he was out there. He was constantly lying. I mean, I, I thought if he wasn't lying all the time, I wouldn't constantly have to be following him around or checking up on him. You know, that's the way I look at it. Because you did catch him being a... Uh non-faithful on the road, haven't you? He's been unfaithful plenty of times. He's lied about his addiction. I mean, it's just the, the life going on. He's at the studio, I call, you know, and they three-way him, and he's really somewhere else, you know. Like, I'm, it just, it was constant, one lie after another. So, Wait, yeah, I was Kim, very Kim, controlling. What about, what about you, Kim? We talk about, uh, about Marshall's addictions. What about you in, in your past? Uh, are you over any kind of usage of drugs that, that you've had? Yeah, in the I past? am completely over. Um, this June will be three years that I haven't used. And, um, I mean, I'll be the first one that I had a, a terrible problem. Thank God that I got arrested when I did because who knows? I might be dead right now. I think the reputation of you in this town is one of those ones where, and I don't know if you, maybe you can talk about how people treat you, but I know listeners would call us up from time to time whenever there was talk about you and they would say some really horrible I know, things. They, people do say, I did make, oh, I mean, these people that are calling up were out partying with me, you know, if, if, if they knew me. That's where they see me, in a bar or, you know, at the same drug dealer's house where they get, you know, so for them to call up and say something about me, it was plain ignorant to me that's how they knew me from being out doing things with me you know so, so you, but, I mean you live and you learn I made terrible mistakes I'm just glad that I got I got through it and I'm with my kids now and me and the girls are extremely happy have you um thought about like writing a book or doing anything to tell your story because I know a couple months ago we interviewed Carmen Bryan Nas's I know ex- I heard fiance that. and baby's mom and, and, and her whole like, thing was she basically wrote a book because that was her only outlet because she wasn't a rapper and she wasn't able to talk about the stuff that was going on when she was being disrespected in songs yeah, and her, they like, were we talking about her outlet, daughter in like songs. That. So have you thought about doing something like a book? Yeah, I mean, or? I thought about it. I mean, I don't know. I think about a lot, a lot of things. So I'm, I'm, it's real, I'm really, really busy. You know, like I said, I'm, I haven't had much help from Marshall. So the kids... Or 99 percent of my time, I'm, I'm with them. What about yeah, what that's about what people don't realize? They're like, "What is she doing?" I'm like, "She's raising kids by herself." Can you t- tell the ages of the kids so people understand? All right, I have a four year old, a seven year old, an eleven year old, and a soon to be fourteen year old. That's a handful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so Kim, what about financially? Marshall did help or did take care yeah, of you financially? Thank, yeah, Marshall does. Marshall pays um for child support, and he is very financially. You know, thank God for. Yeah, he does his part as far as the financial okay, situation Okay, this, this is more on the, the relationship of, uh, of uh, with Kim Mathers and, and Eminem. Kim Mathers is on with us right now. This is going to be on the Dr. Keith Ablo show later today. Take a listen to this. I believe that Marshall has um, a lot of issues on how to express his love. And I, I, don't, I, don't, 
I don't think he knows how to treat women because he wasn't treated well by his mother and he had a lot of anger towards her. I think he just, anyone, I hate to say that he looked at me like his mom, but, you know, or viewed me like that, but he just never had a loving relationship, you know, with a woman growing up. So you feel that the relationship he had with his mom is the reason why you and he had such a bad relationship? I, I can only assume that's why. I mean, I can't pinpoint any other thing. I mean, I know he had a terrible childhood growing up, but I know that he disrespects all women. I mean, every woman that he's with, he ends up, you know, writing out a crappy song about, look at Mariah Carey, and then he went on to the Shade 45, what, a month after he filed for divorce and started talking about all the women that he's had sex with, like that makes him a bigger man. Was I mean, his father ever active in his life? No, no. So that- Kim, then Kim, explain the rumors. I mean, we talked to Akon, and he denied that he that ever said those rumors. Fat, uh, when I heard that, we were me and the girls were listening, and we all just started cracking up. Yeah, we, he he was <laughs> laughing as soon as we saw him backstage at the Grammys. Yeah. I said, Akon, you know, my he, oldest daughter was like, "What the heck are they talking?" About? <laughs> <laughs> well, were you? Was there ever a time in your marriage that you were happy with him? When I first came home. I, I was happy. I didn't even really want to get married. I don't, I, I to I be, don't like, why. early, early on? Yeah, like, three years ago. No, 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 the first time. Oh, uh, well, no, no, I think that we just got, I forced him to marry me that time because I thought if we were married that he wouldn't cheat while he was on tour. Yeah, so I was wrong. You're right. What about a year and a month ago when you got married and uh, you re- he, he kind of asked you and at the time kind of felt, you felt that it was going to go right this time? I didn't, th- I didn't think it was. It, it, we had just had all those problems. I knew that he was not clean still when he came home from rehab. And um, I just I didn't really, I just didn't think it was going to work. But then why jump into it again? Because we know it lasted only 41 days. But what, what made you say, well, maybe I should try it anyway? Because he, like, pigeonholed me. I mean, that's where I was. That's where I came home from rehab. I, I didn't have another house, you know. I just, I was living there. I was with mm. the kids. And he said, basically, he said, you know, either you're going to marry me, we're going to pick a date, we're going to do this, or you might as well just leave right now, get your things and leave. So he was, he, why do you think he wanted to marry you? I don't, that's what I asked him. I, I wrote him 100 letters since he walked out February 25th, saying, why did you make us do that? Why did you have our kids read there? All of the, I mean, we've been through infidelity, rehab, you know, cheating, beating each other up, everything. And we got into an argument about a birthday party, and he left. Hmm. Didn't make sense to me at what, all. What do you think? Do you think that he he married you because he wanted to get like news out of or like press out of uh, it? That, or? That's what I told him. I said we want people to feel sorry for you again. So when you're putting out another album, they're gonna buy it and want to hear you know what I did this time. I don't understand. I didn't understand it. Can you say with all honesty that you you guys will never be back together? I mean, you're pretty sure at this point that I am 100. No, uh, percent I'm putting money. Well, on Joe's it. not convinced. Uh, hey, Kim, I'm putting money I on it. I don't believe it either, Kim. I, I, have, I do not like him even as a person anymore. I'm telling you, even though you don't like, like him, you still love him. I'm no. put I'm putting money, Kim. I've got money, more money on you guys getting back together than uh, than Kid and Pam. And see, the other oh. the crazy thing is, it's kind of like y'all grew up together, so you understand him. You know what I'm saying? Like. You're, yeah, but see, that's the thing. I don't understand it. It's anymore. not the same guy, None is it? None of us do. Right. It, but him, but you've understand. been through addiction, too, so I think that's why you, you're you still hanging in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still think y'all going to get back together regardless. Let me do this. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to believe him. <laughs> I know. This is Kim we're talking <laughs> to. Let, let no, me do I this. understand, <laughs> but I'm saying I still feel like they're going to get back I'm, together. I'm taking a break. I know you got to get the kids ready for school. I'm yeah, taking yeah, a break. When we come back here next, though, the biggest surprise that people would not realize of being married to Eminem and going through uh, this entire relationship. We're going to come back, and I want you to answer that. Your okay? seatbelt's on, right. Kim, right? All right, yes, it is. All right. <laughs> Kim Mathers is on with us, Eminem's ex, with some uh, very telling uh, things to say about the relationship that, uh, that she has had over the years with Marshall. We'll be right back. It's Mojo in the Morning here on 955. Channel 955.